as you can see, it's pretty cold. Ice. Ice. So what does that do to our refrigeration systems? Pretty bad things happen. That is a bad graph. And that means that all the stuff in there is or needs to be thrown away. Now the setup on these is different. I don't know how to really see the condenser. I don't know if I can. Well, maybe I can. Let's see. Eh. percent liquid level discharge 135 sorry six alarms quite a few alarms huh So this turned out to be quite a, a simple job. First I thought it was our cold weather that was causing my liquid to be such a low pressure. But turns out you know, on this system we've got one fan that runs all the time. Doesn't stage off. I was thinking that that fan should stage off but it actually shouldn't. It seemed like it was doing all right before it got cold. Looks like as soon as it got cold, we dropped off. Had a little drop off right there too, middle of the night, maybe the night before. discharge pressure here's my suction pressure and the suction set points that's bad we got a 40 degree liquid line No wonder it's not working. What I'm doing here is um, overriding the fan off, back on, and watching my liquid pressure or discharge pressure go up, and then I'm bringing it back down as I take the override off on fan number one that you see right there that's highlighted.
So up on the roof, we've got one fan running, but with the temperature it is outside, like 35, 30, 30 degrees, it's too much fan. The fan's not staging, or it's low on the fridge. Also, this system has no sight glass. There is no sight glass on the liquid line. And so here for the second time, I brought the fan back on. You can watch my FSTR right there start to drop. And then now I'm gonna turn the fan back off, looks like. Yep. So this is all just a bunch of testing that I'm doing using the override feature of this E2. This service call I got was for the walk-in freezer. You can see this graph is doing horrible. Walk-in freezer's at 20 degrees. This year graph shows a drop. My, my freezer went down from 24, 28 degrees. Check it out. Right there, six minutes ago. 28 degrees, now it's went down to 20. So the staging of the fan is helping my temperature a little bit in the more liquid because I think it's low on refrigerant now when I go up on the roof look what I found this is a pretty massive leak. Everywhere around that thing is leaking. So what I did to isolate the leak was I bypassed this entire middle condenser. It was simple. All I did was close the ball valves and the discharging liquid. And then after I did that, I used my recovery machine to pump out all the refrigerant that was in that condenser into the rest of the circuit. And I was able to get this happen. I was also told that if I left my fan off that the other one should stage on um, once it got up high enough, but that in fact actually didn't happen. This is a split condenser, so there's there's difference uh, that it does in the winter time. It goes into winter time mode and then summertime mode. And what ended up happening was once it exceeded 300, it went to summertime mode and then this screen was no longer showing me discharge pressure. So then I realized well, my fan's not gonna stage, so I better turn the fan back on. So I'm turning the override feature off, which turns the fan back into the on mode. This is back when I was recovering and dumping into the circuit.
And so it took 100 pounds and I came back that night with the new part, rebuilt it, and that was it. <laughs>